Hi there folks, welcome back to the IB and Andy Fishing Channel. I hope you are doing really, really well. It is the first day of the course fishing season. It's June 16th here in the UK, so we can start to target our course fish in the rivers again. And that is exactly what we've come down to do today. Now, before I start, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to the channel. It's just started to grow a little bit again, which is really cool. So if you hit subscribe, you'll be kept in touch with all the news, all the reviews, all the vlogs, all the other stuff that we get up to. For those of you who are already subbed, and once again, we are ever so grateful to have you here. I'm out here on the River Trent to try and do some chub fishing. I really want to try and catch them on dry flies, but we'll sort of figure it out as we go. Uh, I'm here with a friend, Ollie, who knows this stretch of the Trent really, really well. And just for a few hours here, before the sun gets really, really high, Ollie's going to help me out trying to find these fish and figuring out the game plan. It's sweltering really hot already. It's probably about quarter to ten in the morning at the moment. It's already really super hot. We are seeing a few fish moving around. We're a bit worried about maybe it might be too late because of how bright it is, but we've seen a few fish moving, so we've got a chance. Only bought one rod with me, it's a 9 foot 4 weight, I've got a floating line, 12 foot leader and then we're going to mix this up between doing a little bit of dry fly fishing, hopefully for sighted fish and a little bit of duo fishing for fish that we haven't seen or fish that we're sort of seeing patrolling every now and again. Only got a small kind of composite range of flies with me, a big bushy dry flies mostly for the surface fishing and then slightly chunkier nymphs, red tags, bigger stuff like that to see if we can catch those fish on the duo and between those two techniques I really do fancy a chances. I think we've got a really good shot at some quality chub fishing today before that sun gets too high. So without further ado I want to stop waffling, I want to get in this river and let's see if we can find ourselves a big Trent chub. Righty, first pool of the day and as I said in the intro I'm very lucky today for at least a small part of the day to be guided. I'm not used to this, usually the one doing the guiding. We've got Ollie here who knows the stretch of the river really well promised me a seven pound chub today so we'll see where we get with that one starting off on clink and dink actually i haven't seen a fish rise here but it's an area that we've seen fishing in the past so we'll give this a go we've got big full in mill duo clink camera on the top and then underneath we've got a brass beaded mayfly nymph set at about two feet and the hope is that that thing is going to get down fast enough and be a big enough chunk for these chub but not too heavy that i'm constantly having to dress that duo fly. We have got fish rising above us. We think they might be trout actually rather than chub. Obviously they're in season so we're sort of working away up in that direction. It's pretty exciting to see fish rising. That's about the area. Okay so very early fly change. I've just gone for a little Red tag, size 14 red tag, it's actually the fly that Ollie told me to put on from the start, me being me, totally ignored him, put a mayfly nymph on. Red tag and chubs, a good mix. Righty, so we had 10 minutes there just throwing that nymph and rig up there, it hasn't really paid off in truth, but what we really wanted to do today was try and catch these fish on dries. And we we have seen a couple rise further up here. So the plan is to give these a crack on the dry fly. I've got a big G and H sedge, it's like a size eight, like mega cat, it's a huge thing. But the rises we've seen have been quite splashy. So it suggests that they're on a big food item. We haven't seen any mayfly, it's not a huge mayfly area, so we're assuming that it's big caddis that they ate. So we're gonna start sort of just next to this clump of weed on the right, and we'll work our way up slightly. We'll say it's a lot nicer to cast this than it was to cast that duo with. We'd like to get that a little bit tighter in to that grassy clump if I could, but just using the first couple of casts to read the wind, read the wind, read the drift a little bit. Last thing you want to do is try and make a bingo cast first cast and get it snagged. Just snuck round a little bit, just to make myself a bit more of an angle for this inside. Just get a bit further up against the edge. Got him. God, it's taken a little while, we got there in the end. Just took a lot of casts. A lot of casts. Came from absolutely nowhere. I've got at least half a dozen casts in that area. Suggest so maybe patrolling fish rather than resident fish. He's going that way pretty quickly. Pretty sure it's a chub. I don't think it's doing enough zooming stuff for a trout. It is a chub. It is a chub. I think by the standards of this place, not a monster, and he's got a friend with him. But 
for the first fish of the day, we'll definitely take it. Definitely take it. Yeah, that'll do. Come on, bud. This would be a nice start to my course fishing season. Not quite there yet. No, nope. didn't think so. One last go. Trying to get towards the middle where that flow is a bit stronger. Come on, that'll do. That'll do. He's in the net. Well, that was exactly what was supposed to happen. It just took a couple of casts longer than we thought it was going to take. But this, even though it's not one of the Trent monsters, is a really nice start to my Trent course fishing season if my net's got, going to drift away from me. I'm usually in bed at this point on June the 16th. So to have got out in the morning and got a lovely Trent chub first thing is absolutely spot on. Okay, so that was very fun. It's interesting how many casts that took, casting into a really good spot there. You sort of assume that they're gonna take it first, second time with chill, but there's a possibility there, I guess, that that is a group of fish that is just kind of cruising and patrolling, and that's the first time I intercepted them. Maybe they just took a little bit more convincing. Whatever it was, I'm gonna pop a couple more casts into that same area first before I, before I move on. We still haven't got to the area where we saw the fish rising. So we've got that in a sight still. Possibly go a touch further upstream again, just pull that cast slightly. Let's try this one again. That's better. That's better. It could well be that having had one of these fish out of here, I've had my fill from these guys, but just in case that's not the case, just pop a few more up here. Right, I'm going to switch fish because we've got some kayaks on the way. And I want to make sure I've covered that right sort of area before they come past. It's in the area. Got him! <laughs> I wasn't even looking when he ate that. Wasn't even looking. <laughs> I was so late. I was probably about right actually in the end, but it felt like I was incredibly late. Oh, this one's taking a bit of line. That drag's very loose. Oh, he's going for the tree. Uh oh. Come on, let's get you away from there. We use the sort of force of the water as our friend here. Ah, oh, I think he's got me underneath the tree. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely underneath the tree. Let's see if he's still on. All right, is he still on? Right, so we've had a couple of casts in a couple of little sneaky spots. But, uh, not much has happened, we're not seeing a whole lot happening. Got a nice bubble line in front of me here that we've actually seen a fish in a bit further up. I haven't got anywhere to put the second camera at the moment, so we're on to, we're on to just the chest camera, but I'm working up to an area where I can get it in the water and we can start to just have a look at where the side stream comes into the left. Sort of fishing this up just in case with that duo rig and the red tag. It's more kind of make, covering the water you're about to walk through than this is fishing really, just in case. Right, so we're getting up towards the area that we were talking about. We've got a nice feline in front of me here that that does not, that does not do a good job in a covering. Got 
got him. There we go. There we go. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. So we've got him pretty quickly as well. Ollie's halfway up a tree at the moment, spotting for me. And that one is having a good go. Don't think there's, as long as he doesn't get to the tree on the far side, I don't think there's a huge amount there for him. So as long as we can keep him off some of the snags on the bottom here, I fancy a chance. It feels like a nice fish, this. It's going for the inside bank, but I don't think there's a whole lot there for him. A lot of weed here, but we've got that drag set a bit more sensibly than before. Let's come up in the water briefly. It's not quite as much peril as there was on the previous fish. It's dogging around at the moment, just trying to figure out where to go. Truth, where he is at the moment, he hasn't got many places to go. What's see up to? Oh, it's a nice fish as well. It's a big fish. That is a big fish. Oh, yeah. That is a good one. Looks like something's had a go of him fairly recently. Oh, he saw me. Saw everything. Off he goes. Has he got the energy to get away, or is that him? Is that him blown out? Come on, bud. You'll do it, that. You'll do it, that. Let's keep you moving. No. Okay. I actually managed to go underneath my leg. If this fish comes off now, so I've got a feel. What happened here? I've got a feeling I've now got the. I've now got the dropper flight. Yeah, I've got the duo dry flight embedded in my waders. What is happening? Can we get him off me? Yes, we can. Ay, ay, ay. So he was looking for somewhere to get under, and the first thing he saw was my waders. It's an absolute miracle this fish is still on. Come on, bud, that'll do. Let's reverse you back up this way. Let's reverse you back up, and he's in the net. I can't believe I've landed that fish. What an absolute cluster that was. <laughs> Well, what an absolute mess that was. It's a miracle that this fish is currently sat in the net, but it is. That red tag did the job in the end. He's been pretty grumpy in the net. He really doesn't want us to lift him up. We'll give him a couple of goes, and if he doesn't come up for us, then we'll drop him back. Given that that clink hammer was embedded in my waders, I really doesn't want to lift. Given that clink hammer was embedded in my waders, I think we're very lucky just to have this fish in the net, and if he doesn't want to lift, We'll not stress him out too much. It's pretty hot. He's clearly very, very annoyed. Ollie, you're good at chub. What weight are you giving me for that? Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. I'll take that. Right, we're going to slip this guy back because he really, really doesn't want his photo taken. Righty, bud. Let's get... <laughs> We've been battling this fish ever since we landed it. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, yep. Off he goes. Well, that was very fun. We're going to drop a couple of casts in the same sort of area because Ollie could see a, a small shoal of fish up there. Now, it's very possible that now we've had that one with spoot the shoal, but oh, while we stood it, we might as well have another cast or two. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to change the flies, I'm not going to change the depth. Everything sort of worked okay there. And we still think there might be a chance for another one out of here. Three, there we go. <laughs> Ollie, that landed, I went, oh, oh, he's had two goes at it, and then the fly went. <laughs> nice work, Ollie, thank you very much. It's to me, it's quite useful to have a bloke full time halfway up a tree when you're chub fishing. <laughs> Can we have you every time? Good fish? Yeah. Ollie's saying good fish. He's come this way pretty quickly. Wouldn't mind getting him on the reel. Again, that little red tag there has done the business. That's interesting, Holly said there's had a go at it three times, so you sort of associate Chub with that big mouth and getting things straight in. But if it's taken him three goes to grab that little nymph, it just shows you. Perhaps they're not quite as clued up as we think with that stuff. This one's not quite, not quite dogging around like the other fish. As long as I can avoid it getting tangled up in my own legs, I think we could be onto a winner, it. Right? There we go. 
we go. All right, how are you looking there, bud? How are you looking there? And you best not be looking at my legs. Typical chub, big lunge. They run out of energy, turn them again. You sort of repeat this for a dozen times. Come on, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. No, not quite. I imagine that's completely soaked the chest camera. Thank you very much, pal. <laughs> I'm not going to have a look. I want to get the fish in the net first and then we'll we'll see what the view was like. Come on. Oh, he's having another go for that tree there. No, you're away. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Big mouth wide open, straight over the net. Thank you very much. Well, this is exactly what you're hoping for on the first day of the course season. Crikey, we'll take these all day of the week what a chub that is not quite as big as the last one maybe what do you reckon ollie four he's a bit more hefty than the previous fish yeah, four. yeah. yeah. the bigger fish had a the, the previous fish had a bigger frame but he's full like he's absolutely rock solid whereas that previous fish wasn't i think we're going to slip him back straight away from here he's a bit more chilled out as well Yeah, if I can employ you full time just to sit up a tree and spot chub for me, that'd be really handy, mate. <laughs> Anytime, you'll pay me a lot. Well, what a pool that has been. That has been just absolutely fantastic. It's so useful having someone up a tree spotting these fish for you because I'd have had no idea those fish were there from where I was. In truth, I'd have probably cast a couple of casts in that area regardless, but it was really, really helpful having Ollie there telling me when those fish were milling around. So thank you very much to him for the assist on those. Been here for a couple of hours now. That's three fish in the net and one absolute steam training. I'm pretty happy with this in truth. Uh, I am super, super keen just to have a little bit of a look at this little side stream. It, it just looks so pretty. As much as anything, it'd be nice to do something different from the stuff we've done on the main river. So we've decided we're going to have a little shifty up here. If I can catch fish, great. If not, it's already been a fantastic few hours fishing. That sun is getting high now, and I think we've probably seen the best of the action. But if we could sneak out one more, that'd be great. Just incidentally, the red tag that we're catching these fish on is actually the contrast red tag from our coloured water grading pack. So there you go, it's a little bit more versatile than we thought. I'm just gonna jump into this side stream very, very quickly and see if we can find one more chub, because this has been so much fun. What an opening day. Well, it's hard not to get drawn up this little side stream, even though all the fishing we've done so far has been in the main river. This looks absolutely beautiful. It does look like the kind of place you might find a big rogue chub sat. This is a feed line that comes from the far side of the bank. Ollie's telling me to not get any closer than this. Overestimates my casting ability. See if we can pop this somewhere up towards the tree. We're going to start on the far bank and work our way across. Okay. So, Ollie's just told me you can see a really big fish up there, about two meters further up than where my fly landed. Midstream. Further upstream, maybe? Okay. I must admit, I didn't cast that quite as far as I sort of meant to. Got him. That another one. <laughs> well, it feels a good fish. That feels a good fish. Nice, nice, nice. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, really interesting. Actually, Ollie's telling me that's not the fish that he could see. That's not a small fish. What's your plan here, buddy? One with him. Oh, God, yeah. oh, that, is that the other fish? Yeah, big shoal of them. No small fish around here. It's like freaking Jurassic Park. This is. Let's see if we can get this guy on the reel. I don't think he's got anywhere to go as long as he doesn't shoot below me. Let's see if we can get control of you. Just try and desperately shake that nymph out. Are you done? Are you done? No, not quite. Come on. Come on. No. Big gulp of that. That'll do you. Net underneath you. Yeah, that was cool. 
little small stream fish to finish the day. Fantastic. Sweet, sweet, sweet. As I say, not the not the really big one that Ollie had seen, which is amazing, because this also isn't a small fish. <laughs> these are not tiny chub by any stretch. We'll take these all. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to assume from that he wants to go back. <laughs> Let's slip this one away. God, buddy, well, thank you very much there for the Staffordshire shower. That was... Oh. <laughs> I'm starting to get the hint here. If it didn't sting before, I'll probably do now. Don't care. Stinky chub. Fantastic. Well, as all anglers often do, I have sought shelter in the branches of a weeping willow because it is so hot now. We just came up to two o'clock and it is toasty warm, super humid. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a couple of thunderstorms around here today because it's got that sort of feel about it. Certainly, I have got that sort of feel about me. I'm looking forward to a nice cold shower when it get back. So good, we'll put that sunscreen on, put it that way. Otherwise, I'd be lobster by now. That has been so much fun. What a few hours fishing that's been. In, in truth, in terms of actual fishing time, we've not done a whole lot. A little bit of spraying that jar around at the start, but we've been lucky there that everywhere we've dropped into, we've found fish. Use the word lucky there. I've been very lucky that I've had a guy like Ollie who not only knows this place like the back of his hand, but has also been willing to show me around for a few hours as well. So huge thank you again to Ollie. That has been such fun. I came down with the idea today of perhaps doing a bit more dry fly fishing than we had. And in truth, that last fish, which I really enjoyed, you never know, we could have caught that one on a dry, but the others definitely not. It was so nice to get off the mark though on the dry fly because that was exactly what I came out to do today. Uh, really, really fun catching those fish off the top and who knows what that second one was in the same spot. I guess we'll never know. Let me know what you think, guys. I hooked that fish maybe 15 yards away from where it actually got me under. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm on a four weight. I'm on a five X, five and a half pound line. I'm not convinced a chub could do that to me. I reckon that was possibly a big trout, but we'll never know. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Hopefully it's whetted your appetite for the course fishing season ahead. Guys, get in the comment section. Let us know what type of stuff you guys would like to see going forwards for the rest of the summer. Right, I'm going to go and have that shower. I'm steaming hot. I'm so sweaty. Thank you guys for watching this. Really appreciate it. I, B and I are going to see you people in internet land pretty soon for some more fishing, some more reviews and some more fun stuff. Take care, folks. Bye bye.